It's cool. I've seen it in some TV shows. I only know a little bit. Um, I've seen it in The Big Bang Theory. I love the crazy adventures. I've heard of Dungeons and Dragons, but I don't know what that is. Dungeons and Dragons is a game where you roleplay together as a group. The players play as characters they've created, while the leader, also known as the Dungeon Master or DM, plays as monsters the players battle and leads the game. This has been the same since the beginning. Dungeons and Dragons, also referred to as D&D, was first published in 1974 by Gary Gygax and David Arneson. A few years later, in 1977, the first edition of the game came out. Not long after this was the beginning of a satanic panic, a frenzy of people believing the game promoted Satanism, witchcraft, suicide and murder. After the publicity of a boy attempting to commit suicide and the links to D&D appeared in the news, the panic around D&D began to grow. When Ivan Pullen committed suicide as well, his mother, Patricia Pullen, believed that this was due to D&D and created the campaign, Bad, that published information that D&D encouraged devil worship, witchcraft and suicide. We went into the kitchen and there on the table were the, what we thought were just regular composition books with schoolwork in it and much of the Dungeons and Dragons material along with this curse he had received in the game that day that he died. My name is Katie and I've played Dungeons and Dragons for about a year and a bit now. I started playing D&D because my family were really into it. Um, mostly my dad who does it about every week with his friends, pretty much every Monday. And so I kind of wanted to get into it then, I just needed to find the right people to start it up with. I'm not too sure why it's gotten more popular, more like, I suppose because social media has become a bit more important. And so on YouTube and like Twitter, people are saying about what they're doing and other people are like, oh, interesting. And they might try it out themselves or they meet new people who like these things and then they try it out together. I think introducing D&D to TV shows like Stranger Things or Big Bang Theory have probably definitely helped because there's been at least one person that's looked at those shows and been like, I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to be like that. I want to be closer to the characters. Uh, the community within, within Dungeons and Dragons, I think, has probably actually been stayed pretty much the same. I don't think anyone's anything's really affected it. I think everyone just enjoys it, and you don't really have many people who judge each other in it. But what about the existing internet shows that have extended the already growing community, resulting in a bigger obsession over the game? Uh, I'm Shannon. I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons for about four or three years. I started watching like uh, internet shows like High Rollers and wanted to see um, what it was like actually about. At the moment I watch uh, an internet show called Critical Role. I wanted to watch the internet shows in the first place because I wanted to see what the game was like and how other people played it so I could get a better understanding of how I actually wanted to play it. I think the show has impacted me a lot because I'm very invested in the characters so if one of them dies it hurts <laughs> for like the week. Dungeons and Dragons has impacted so many people in different ways. I think Dungeons and Dragons has changed my life because now I have something that I can kind of escape to and I also have gotten closer with people like my friends who I play it with and other people who have the same interests. It's always a good conversation topic to talk about and then you get closer to people and I've made quite a few, few friends through it. 